now is what photographers call the magic hour. I've just spotted another great shot. I'm gonna try and put together a series of stitched images. I'm hoping for a really exciting shot. That's exactly what we want. I've got two lights set up and we've got this lovely wooden line. The exposure range is just too great. Hi, I'm Carl Taylor and in this very, very quick and easy episode, we are just going to show you how to export your images at a given size. The reason we're doing this tutorial, and this is gonna be very basic, too basic for most of you, but the reason we're doing this is because so many of you keep asking, how do I export my images at the right size to enter into your brilliant competitions? And we request that our images are entered in our competitions at a thousand pixels wide so they don't clog up our server. And also on our forum, which you can access through our main website, uh, people upload their images and discuss them and talk about them and critique each other's pictures. And again, we've got a maximum size that you can upload your images uh, to our forum. So I'm just gonna show you three different software, um, the common software. One, Adobe Lightroom, which is a very common one for photographers to use. Two, Adobe Photoshop, common one, but more expensive. You might not all have that one. And three, Picasa, which is free photo software. And I'm going to show you how to resize your images in each one of those software um, so that you know and there won't be any problems for you to get the images the right size when you want to enter them into our competitions or onto our forums. So the first one is Lightroom. And here I have an image open in Lightroom, a shot that I took for a commercial job on a, a bar and the cocktail barman making uh, these drinks and uh, preparing these cocktails and stuff. Converted these in black and white in Lightroom, great uh, program for doing that. Anyway, that's by the by. Uh, let's just look at how I resize this in Lightroom. I'm gonna to go to File, Export. And then I'm going to choose where the image goes, whether I give it the same name, but most importantly, the type of file I want to export it as, a TIFF or a JPEG. If you're going to upload these to our competitions, then JPEG please, because we don't want too much space being chewed up. And then I'm gonna say Resize to Fit, Long Edge, and I'm gonna change that from centimeters to pixels, and I'm gonna change that to 1,000 pixels, and the resolution doesn't really matter here because when you set an image to a certain amount of pixels, that's it, it's fixed. Whether it's 72 pixels per inch or 300 pixels per inch does not affect the overall amount of pixels. So here it's 1,000 pixels, uh, pixels in total. However, because I know I want this image to be displayed online, I'm just going to set it at 72 pixels per inch, which is the um, correct setting for online images. And that's it. And then I can simply hit export and that will export the file for me at those dimensions, job done, no problem at all. Now, while we're here, if you wanted to export that image to a specific size, say dimensions or a specific long edge dimension in centimeters, you can do that as well. So you can go in there, you can say, I want this to be 40 centimeters wide, 50, etc., And then you can tell it either don't enlarge beyond what the original size of the image was or, or allow it to enlarge, which will interpolate the image and add additional information in there. Not the, necessarily the best way of doing it. Um, but there are obviously other uses for exporting the images in different sizes, as well as um, just doing it at the required pitch, uh, pixel size for our competition. So that's how you do it in Lightroom. Let's quick jump out of Lightroom and jump into Picasa. Picasa is uh, Google's free software and it's a great little bit of free software. Let's just click on an image here. Okay, there's uh, an image that we shot for our advertising and uh, product and still life uh, photography course DVD. Uh, one of the beauty shots that we did. Now, this is a very high resolution image file. If we zoom in on that image, 
you can see an incredible amount of detail on there. Keep going in and in and in. So you can see it's a super high resolution image file. We certainly wouldn't want you to email that big a file to us. So what we want to do here is export this image file at the right size. So I'm going to say export down the bottom here. And then I'm going to say resize to. And it's already set to 1,000 pixels. So you just go in there, type in the size. You can add a watermark, um, copyright information, that sort of stuff. Choose where you're going to export it to. I'm going to export it to the desktop. And I'm going to call it desktop one and say export. And it is now exporting the image. And that's it, done. It's exported it for me as a JPEG. And if I exit out of Picasa, I should find that image on the desktop. There it is, it's in that folder, sorry, called desktop one, because I put it within a folder. And if I now open that up, I'm gonna actually open that up in Photoshop, because we need to show you how to do it in Photoshop as well. So let's just open up this image now. Now, there we go, that image is 1,000 pixels wide. And you can see now, as I zoom in, it's nowhere near as detailed, because it's lost all that information, because we've shrunk it right down in size. However, it's good enough for our competitions to evaluate and judge, and it doesn't clog up our system. So there it is at 1,000. If I wanna go and resize an image in Photoshop, very simple as well, go up to image, image size, change the dimensions here to our settings to pixels, and then type in the size of the pixels that you want it to be, and then say okay, and save it, or save as to save a new version, and that's it done. So it really is that simple to resize your images. If you don't have Photoshop, you don't have Lightroom, um, you can do it for free in Picasa. So no excuses. Please get your images the right size when you send them into our competitions. Otherwise, unfortunately, we can't accept them. Thanks very much. Right now is what photographers call the magic hour. I've just spotted another great shot. We're going to try and put together a series of stitched images. I'm hoping for a really exciting shot. That's exactly what we want. I've got two lights set up and we've got this lovely wooden line. The exposure range is just too great. 